It's a beautiful day in the game of her. A beautiful day for my gamers. Would you be one? Could you be one? Sound of that thunder, but don't despair. This colony's breeding great robbers. Would you be one? Could you be one? If the native is immortality, where it works for you. For a few bucks a month, you can sign up and have the hard skill you. So let's make the most of another someday. Brew up some coffee and play it my way. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my gamers? Won't you be? Won't you please? Please, won't you be my gamers? Aha, uh -huh. I almost forgot to unmute myself. Hey everyone, welcome to Mr. Hobbs' Gamerhood. I am your host, Jason Hobbs, and GM Mediocrity, GM Hobbs, Mr. Hobbs, I don't know. Anyway, tonight we are playing Old School Essentials by Necrotic Gnome and uh, the man Gavin Norman. It would be a disservice to the channel and all the fans, all two of you that are out there, <laughs> Eric Thomas Hunt being one of them on the old Twitch stream. Kalmata is based on this book by Storm Lord Publishing, The Treasure Vaults of Zadabad. All right, before we get any farther, I better hit my mic with my hand. I bet that wasn't very loud. And let's, uh, we'll jump to the tabletop and introduce our players. All right, you guys, why don't you introduce who you are, say what kind of awesome podcast you do and uh maybe a little bit about your character if you have anything and expect me to make fun of whatever i can all right arlen you are our leader and fearless caller go for it brother all right hi i'm arlen walker um my stuff is all called live from pelham's wasteland so if you search that on youtube or on whatever your podcast or app is or anything like that you can probably find it if you like the sound of my voice for some reason um and my character is nor the dwarf who has like 30 pages of backstory but i didn't bother to send it to hobbs because i knew he wouldn't read it anyway um no crap <laughs> Yep. And uh, yeah, we're going to get into some adventures in Kalmata. Nice. Thank you very much. Carl Rodriguez. Yeah, I'm Carl Rodriguez, if you want to use the Hispanic pronunciation. And I uh, have a new podcast. I've been running it since about Memorial Day weekend. It's called The Geomologist Presents. And I play Mungo, who has been lost in the jungle. He's probably recently climbed out of it. If you watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine, he's like the dwarven equivalent of Pimento. He's kind of crazed and got crazy wild hair. And he likes to drink uh, mead and beer because he's still dedicated to Ninkasi, the goddess of beer. Nice. He's like a cleric now, right? A dwarven cleric. In yeah, a dwarven cleric or has some ability from, from Ninkasi. Um, whether he still has it, well, it remains to be seen. This is pre- uh, advanced OSE advanced, by the way. All right. Next up the man with two A's Aaron. Greetings. I am Aaron. I am a player. Um, I've got myself a magic user named Talene Sion. She is doing magic. Um, my podcast has never been recorded, so I'm sorry you didn't have had the chance to listen. <laughs> I'll get to it. I'm really close. But I'm excited to play with Arlen, who I've listened to uh, plenty of his podcasts and some of these other guys I haven't seen in a while. So this is exciting. Awesome. All right. And now it's time for the evil one, Lord Burnick himself. Who is still You're muted? Muted. <laughs> ah, wrong, wrong microphone button. Okay. Hello, I'm Julian, and uh, yes, it's good to be back. This is my second time with Idom the Alacritus, a first-level wizard dedicated to sowing chaos in the world in the service of the idiot god Pazam. Uh, that's, I think that's enough. <laughs> I'm, filling, I'm filling in the rest of the backstory as I go. As, that's a novel idea in a game like this. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll make it up. I'll, I've, wait, I've been here before. <laughs> All right. Let's say that clerics wear ring mail. It said he's a Julian 
uh, a big fan of your fries, man. You got anything to say about that? Oh, if you think my fries are good, you should try my poutine. <laughs> if, if you think his fries are good, you should see his shake. <laughs> All right. Next up, Taylor. <laughs> Hi, uh, <laughs> my name is Taylor or Cleric Swear Ringmail in other circles. Uh, I run the Cleric Swear Ringmail blog, the Cleric Swear Ringmail podcast, and the recently uploaded Cleric Swear Ringmail YouTube series, uh, all while raising a set of twins who are three years old in December. So glad to be back. Uh, Glad to be back in Kalmata. Glad to be back in gaming with these guys. Uh, got a couple of faces I haven't gotten to play with before and a couple of faces I really missed. So, Yeah, I have to say this is one of the cool things about an open table game like uh, Kalmata is there's such a huge uh, number of people that have played it. And uh, well, that reminds me, uh, Taylor, we don't actually have a picture or anything of your character, do we? Uh, I up, I might have uploaded one. So I will. Uh, I am playing uh, Azorina, niece of the famous Azorus. Uh, come to try to find him in the jungles of Kalmata, a uh, following in his footsteps as a oh cleric. This is terrible. So. Azorina's hair? Yeah. This, this I'm is digging terrible. it. I don't know what you're talking about. She's got an 18 <laughs> charisma, man. Oh, my God. All right. So I cannot... Uh... I do not condone or agree <laughs> with the statements or art of any of the players here at uh, at uh, the Gamerhood. Uh, but I am known for some dumbass decisions of my own. <laughs> so uh, I can't say a lot. Julian, what uh, what were we playing at your house uh, earlier this year? The play test. What was that play test for? That was the forthcoming um, conversion of uh, Xanadu uh, for old school essentials. Uh, we will be converting it to Dungeon Crawl Classics uh, soon to be in the next couple months. So that's uh, from Singing Flame Games. That's a pretty. That's a pretty fun adventure. I had a lot of fun working on the conversion of that. I couldn't remember. I asked Aaron, and he was like, "What game did we play at?" <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, come on! I, I was fairy in it. I was trying Wait, to spoil spoilers. I was trying Jack. to uh, prepare them for the joy that is playing a game with uh, uh, Julian Burnick. Oh no! I'm I'm tamping that down. It's going to be. I'm just going to be normal tonight. I'm going to be. Um, well, that's what I'm afraid of. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So right now I am making a token for um, Taylor's character because his other character is stuck in the wilds of Kalmata currently. And hopefully we'll eventually get back. Also, um, Aaron is playing his secondary character. Aaron's primary character being stuck hanging out with uh, Azarus, my primary. That's right. So we can get stuck in the woods together again a different time. Hmm. No, these guys all die if they don't make it back. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're just hating on my uh, on my gorgeous locks. Uh, and the fact that I can't find the motherfucker. I mean, the thing I'm looking for. <laughs> oh, maybe it's because I'm in monsters. All right. There you go. I apologize to everyone in advance for this character. But it's unfortunately pretty par for the course. <laughs> <laughs> and people playing games like this. Uh, Azorina. There we go. <laughs> Nameplate visible. All right, I'm going to give you visibility on these bars. And I haven't played since, we haven't ran Kalmata since Roll20 did any updates, maybe for dynamic lighting. So who knows what's going to happen? Mm. Uh -oh. Who knows what will happen? All right, so there is your token. 
All right, nobody can see that, but I'll run her down here quick. I guess um, there was a request for the introduction to Kamada. We haven't played it in a while, and there was a request on Twitch. Maybe this is a good re time to uh, uh, let people know that, um, like I said, this is based on the Treasure Vaults of Zadabad. It was uh, a campaign originally written for one of the... Uh, Hey, Sidewinder me. Welcome, buddy. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, he has an introduction in here that I have always made fun of him and Carl for writing. And uh, I didn't think it'd be fair if I didn't write my own introduction so they could uh, make fun of me for it. That's me. I'm always fair. The conceit of Kalmata is that your characters have come to this jungle island infest that's supposed to have a big treasure on it and uh it doesn't necessarily matter too much where your character came from but he has come here in order to find the uh, treasure vaults of zadabad or anything else so uh, you would normally come from the mainland over to the island and land at this small village that's been here for quite some time and uh We'll take up the action on the introduction. The great bronze gate to the Black Pyramid was sundered by the head priest of Shabanil was slain. His elephantine head was carried upon two boar spears by courageous bearers back here to Sindanor. Your angry approach kicks up dust and children, faces obfuscated by the tatters of linen wraps covering every inch of their bodies, scamper from the storyteller seated cross-legged on the dusty porch of the inn's boardwalk. He peers up at you, takes a big drink of his good water. This is method acting here, people. <laughs> Welcome, travelers. Welcome to Sindanor, gateway to Kalmata, island of adventure. I can see by your faces you're confused by my story, but yes, it is true. The treasure vaults of Zadabad have been plundered, but do not fret. Vast wealth lies hidden by the growth of decades, and much of the Zadabadis lie undiscovered. Come, come into the inn and prepare yourselves for travel. Get a good night's rest, for it is likely your last. Shoo. All right, that is the extent of this introduction that I made a very long introduction for, and I apologize. <laughs> but uh, so now what we normally do is the players have uh, paid money to gather the would-be henchmen, and uh, they can hire them. So if you guys head down to this area of the map, for those of you who don't necessarily remember... I am not on the map. I see blackness. Hello. You guys all see blackness? I see uh, map. So, Aaron, you yeah, don't the, see the it's map? At the I do not. It shouldn't be blackness. Let me see here. I wonder if it's locked for podcasters. It might be. <laughs> no, I, I scroll down. I scroll down to it from the map of Sindanor. Yeah, but he's below. saying he, he sees blackness. That's what... Oh. Yeah, I don't see hmm. Sindanor either, nor all the dead people. So uh, I'm wondering if Deline is connected. Should I disconnect and reconnect? Boop a doop boop. No, what I'm going to do is is make sure you mm -hmm. control the Deline character. That's what no. I'm guessing it is. Is it something? I'm controlling about... the character sheet. No problem. You are. Yeah. Oh well, it's connected mm -hmm. to that character well, all right so but, this is one of the things that people say hey what's the difference between playing I online compared to playing uh, at you have technical difficulties when you're around but not usually the same as something like this all right can be edited and controlled by aaron baggio i would say refresh roll 20 doing it mapping dungeons map exists reopen character not yet complete. Carry on. Sidekicks. So, 
So we were going to play this a, a month ago or so, and I should say that this is uh, episode number 60. I have named it Another Hill to Climb, and the last session was almost exactly six months ago, March 30th. So wow. that's pretty interesting to me. Uh, Galeen's already hired a man-at-arms, so does anyone else want to hire anyone? Let's start with uh, yep. Arlen as the caller. So we haven't talked about how much money it's actually going to cost to charter a boat. I don't remember what we did last time, but I seem to remember it was a fair bit. I, th I always forget, but I think uh, I've been charging, like if you go and find some fishermen, what I'm going to do is mm -hmm. have you roll and we're going to let you do it because I don't necessarily want to stop you from going where you want to go uh, yep. because of that. But basically your reaction roll is going to, uh, determine how difficult it is or how much it costs basically. Okay. So what I will say is that I have some gold, so I'm not going to hire anybody, but I'm happy to spot somebody some money to hire someone if they need a little extra cash to do so. Uh, yeah, I'm going to hire some kind of big beefy meat shield type of fellow. All right. So inside the rip in, you can see these uh, different tokens that have dots on them. So the more dots there are, uh, this that means likely the more uh, equipped, the better equipped they are. Uh, so these are the NPCs available. These are leveled NPCs, which they cost more, and they're going to cost you a share of the treasure plus your XP. These are the available. I mean, everything else over here are tokens from people that have played in the campaign. So uh, Julian, uh, which of these people? So someone has to take, pay five gold pieces to gather these people. And then you would uh, approach one and then say the going rate is one gold piece a day. Or is it three gold pieces a day? Oh, it was, uh, I seem to remember it was one for normal men at arms and then three for demi humans. I'm trying to remember. I said it last, I said it wrong last time. I'll, let me find my notes. Here we go. All right. Yeah, one gold piece a day for men at arms. Demi humans are three gold pieces a day, and torchbearers slash porters are five silver pieces a day. Ah, oh, okay. So what do you All want right. to offer? Anything, does it? I'm sorry. Does it signify anything like red, blue, or green, or whatever? Nope. 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 So the more dots they have, the more expensive they are. Is that it? Nope, nope. The, it's just what they have. So, like, if you're, it's up to you to how much you want to pay them. So, basically, the going rate is one gold piece. And if you want to do something special, like give them a sign on bonus or pay them more money or I don't know, something else, whatever it is you come up with as some crazy ass player, it may affect your reaction role to whether or not they allow you to hire them. All right. Well, let's, uh, um, I like the idea of having, uh, I don't know. So, I'm sorry, one gold piece a day standard for man-at-arms? Yep. I will, uh, I don't know how long, how long do we anticipate our trip is going to take, Arlen? Um, a week, maybe? Three days out, three days back? That All sounds right. good to I me. Will, I'll Probably more than to, that. Uh, more than that? Okay. Maybe not. Maybe uh, not. Around that, I guess. I don't know. No, we can we'll, say, we'll, we can say we'll, let's say 10 days. Well, how about as, this? As, I'll let you guys look, and then you can make a decision from there. Okay? All right. So we'll look at the map of Kalmata quick. So here you guys are in 53, 53... This is Sindanor. And you're, the plan is to travel south along the coast? Yeah, plan is to go kind of like this around here and get to here and then march along inland this way. Yeah, Trying so, to get towards this mountain. Uh, in good sailing conditions, it, it shouldn't take you very long to get down there. Like, I mean, it's not that far. Each hex is a mile. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the visible areas are basically some places that have been explored where the dark areas have not, no man has crossed that area. 
Yeah. Mm. All right. So yeah, I think let's let's say like um, we'll plan on going three days out, three days back, but let's pay for like you know a total of eight days or something in case we get waylaid on the way. So by... you should realize that this is a cliff face. Oh, that's a cliff face. Well, then maybe we'll stop here and move up into the the hills around here. Yeah. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna take a just I don't know these guys look like a bunch of sacks of meat to me. I'm gonna just go up to Ordo and offer him a couple gold pieces a day for uh, you know what we anticipate is you know somewhere between. Uh, I'll tell him. I'll tell him it could be. I'm gonna pay him for eight days, two gold pieces a day, minimum. So if it's less than that, he can have the whole sixteen gold. Oh, all right. Well, that sounds nice because. But if it's more than that, you're still willing to pay. Yeah. Beyond that, I'll pay two gold a day. Okay. So let's see here. So you can go ahead and make a reaction roll at plus two because normally all you do is uh, a lot of people will only give the first day. So if you're offering to give them eight days up front. Uh, that's awesome, but he'll leave that money here. So if he dies, you won't be able to get that back. All right. Yep. So reaction roll. All right, coming yep. online. There we go. Did that work? I hit the little die. It probably worked. Roll twenty likes to be uh, slow, so as to increase the tension. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's really me. It might also prompt you for a modifier. There you I go. don't know. Oh, no, it hasn't rolled yet. Yeah, that too. Did uh, did it prompt you for a multi multiplier? So I just hit the rea the die by the reactions uh, thing. Doesn't Shouldn't that do it? Oh, yeah, reaction. Should. Do you need to just roll a d20? I, I'm fine with that. Uh, too. 2d6. Oh, input yeah. value. Yeah, there you go. Uh, did you want me to do plus, plus two? two? Yep, plus two. All right, plus two. Submit. Yeah, sorry, there was a little pop up there. Hey, uh, uh, a seven. So it looks like you rolled a four. So basically, he, uh, oh, yeah, I'd be liking that money. I used to be a furrier, and so I have many skills. Uh, I'm not sure that's enough to afford me a dime, the uh, androgynous. <laughs> Uh, it's a lacrotus, actually. Um, what then? Hmm. So basically, in oh. game mechanics, what that means is, is if you can come up with a reason, he's willing to uh, renegotiate the contract, but you're going to have to change something to get another roll. Hmm. Um, you know, if he doesn't like the deal, there are other sacks of meat around, so I'm probably just going to try something else. All right, so in that situation, okay. we'll move on to another player, and then we'll come back to you, okay? Uh, and anyone who tries to hire Ordo, they'll have a minus one from this group today. Mungo, you want to hire anybody? Yeah, I'd like to try to hire Gurn. All right, he's a dwarf. Yep. All right, so, what are you offering um, him there, buddy? So I like I like the – we said eight days. We, we're thinking about a journey south, about eight days. Was it two gold pieces a day? Is that what we said? Three for uh, for uh, three. demi humans. Yeah. Okay, so I'll say I'll offer him three gold pieces a day, and I'll give him the twelve gold piece up front. All right, so I'll give you a plus yeah. two as well. Okay. Jeez, these guys are well, tough also today. Also a number seven. Yeah. So you rolled a three. Same thing. He's like. I'd like to go with you, but uh, the Arizona, her hair. I don't like redheads. Uh, well, I offer you, uh, I offer you uh, free food and drink at uh, the meat hall if you come back for uh, a month. A month, eh? Maybe longer. Let's see if I got anything about this guy. You see he's got a thick pair of heavy leather gloves on, and he's like, oh, you think so? All right, yeah, go ahead and roll again. Same thing. Uh, I'll give you a plus three this time because that seems like a lot. Actually, I'll just say he goes with you. I got a 10, so. Yeah, perfect. Cool. I guess uh, I'm somewhat chrasmatic. Chrasmatic? We just got a plus yeah. three, so. Uh, well, I, I mean, I got a plus one, but, you know. Did you show him your uh, milk blade? 
That may be, maybe that would have done something. Do I still have that thing? I think so. No, it's not me. Yeah, it is. No, no, that's Thungo. Or that's th that's uh, Fulgar, Jay's character. My bad. Yeah, Jay's guy. All right, so here is... Hammer. All right, where the fudge are you? Arizona, Zena, you have no money, so you're not hiring anyone? Deline, you have Dolgaz. Uh, Nor, did you want to hire anybody? Um... Sure, why not? I will try to hire Darmir over here. And I'll do basically the same thing. I'll offer him two gold pieces a day for eight days at least. And um, so 16 worth of gold now. And then if we spend any more time out there, I'll give him, you know, the rest of it when we get back, basically. All right. So when he shows up, he asks to read your palm. Do you allow it? Why not? Sure. He goes, I don't know, but I have a pretty famous face. Did you know that? I used to be in a uh, the basic set around page 25 on Moldvay. Did you know that? Mm. Nice. <laughs> All right, He's go famous. Ahead. Go ahead and make your roll. <laughs> make your reaction roll. All right. Reaction roll. Ooh. Whoa, how is everyone getting seven on their first roll? This is insane. Oh, wait, I didn't give you your pluses. You should have got a plus two, so he is in. Okay, plus two. Yeah, it's a ten nine, so all right, cool. All right, Adam, did you see somebody else you want to hire? I'm going to go for, uh, what's the next guy over? Ulam there. Ulan, is that it? U-L-L-A-N, him. Erlen. Oh, yeah, Ullen, I think. I don't know what the heck his name is. Ullen. Ullen. Ullen it is. is. Your, game, your, name is, your guess is as good as mine. Oh, hey, click this. I'm going to make that same offer. Uh, that is the 16 minimum and the two a day beyond that. All right, plus two. Go ahead and roll. Okay. And I will, we'll go around and I'll give you guys all their stats here once everyone... Oh. You should be able to control them now. Plus two. Oh, hey, that's a little better. All right. Plus two, so that's not a special bonus, but he's definitely in. He looks like he's about 110 years old. Wisdom. Wisdom. That, you know. That's right. Experience and wisdom. That's right. The only thing that goes up is you get older. Uh, is anybody else going to hire anybody, or are we good? Yeah, I have literally zero gold, so I'm not. Uh, I'm probably not going to hire anybody. <laughs> All right. That's what I like to hear. Yeah. So when I bring them down here, you guys should be able to control them, and uh, you can start maybe putting your marching order in here. So we're marching to the right. So the front would be on the right, and then the people behind them would be to the left. Now you are in charge of uh, getting everyone to do all this here. All right. Let's uh, let's form up, boys. Um, I will go in the front rank, and we can put you know whoever else is tough up here. And then uh, what is Darmir armed with? Oh, maybe we should do that first. All right, I'll start yeah. from left to right. Uh, so that's Deline. You have this guy, Dolgaz. Oh, no wonder this isn't working. I'm on the wrong flipping thing. All right, Dolgaz. Open sesame. Here we go. GM notes. He has six hit points. His... Uh, AC is seven. seven. Looked it all up. Yep. Club dagger, six Club inch dagger. crystal lens. Oh yeah, you can see that. Um, I I went back to our chat from a month ago and grabbed it. All right, used to be a street thug. All right, nice. So, uh, Ullen, Julian, 
ha- AC seven. Yep. He's got leather armor. He has a club and a dagger. Five hit points. Uh, right now, this is where the interactive part is with the chat. Arlen, you got anybody at uh, YouTube? Yeah, we got a couple people who have chimed in. A couple nice. of comments about you not turning on the sound quick enough for them. Um, a question about the classes that everybody is. And um, some some nice words about how great it is to see Kalmata finally back. All right. Well, thanks, guys. So here's the it you guys have until we finish getting the all the people in YouTube and Twitch land. This um, NPC repeats the same song. So what song does he repeat? There you go. All right. You got all that, Julian? Got it. All right. Gurn Mungo. This guy is equipped. He has chainmail and shield. Which should be AC four, four, right? Yeah, it says. Oh, it does say in six hit points. He's armed with a war hammer, and he has a pair of heavy leather gloves. Okay. All right, Darmir, hit points two, AC seven. Oh shit! And he's a fortune teller. He's armed with a club and a dagger. Uh, when he reads your fortune, he says, We've got a lot of good things to do together, Nor. I can tell by the length of your horns on your helmet. Yeah, that's what they all say. Yeah, 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 mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah. All right, then. So you guys going to let's get these... Uh, flipping marching order. Um, Mungo, Mungo has a spear and shield so you can be in the second rank if you want okay I will buy Darmir a spear so that he can fight from behind me so we'll be battle buddies (sighs) battle buddies yeah, how much? How much? Uh, sorry, how much is a shield and a spear? All right. So the cool thing about OSE is that there is a super awesome uh, one of those things on the internet where SRD. Yeah, SRD. SRD exactly. Aha! All right. Uh, adventuring gear. Aha! And so all the prices are like that unless you're trying to buy ladders or war dogs. Well, I I was going to buy one, two ladders and three war dogs. Or if you want to carry more than one spear, also also a no-no. Not even a laugh, Carl. I thought for sure I'd get you. I shook my head. I'm eating. They're chewing (laughs) something. (laughs) That bullshit. I'm getting him a spear. I'm getting Ulan a spear for four gold and a shield for ten gold. All Look right. Look at that. So who's this we're doing that to? Uh, Ulan. Ulan. Ulan, is that how we're pronouncing yeah. it? I'll try to remember. Ulan. Ulan. We can do it however you want. I don't care, buddy. Yeah, I think I will purchase um, a spear for Gurn because <laughs> Mungo can probably go up front with Nor. Right, and then have Gurn back him up. That's how we're doing it. Yeah. All right, so yeah. I have a spear and a shield to uh, Ullen. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. And a spear for Gurn. All right. I bought a spear for Darmir. All right. Now that the prices are apparent, I buy a spear and a shield for Dolgaz the Thug. Dolgaz the thug. Nice. Did you buy a shield for Darmir or just a spear? Just a spear. All He's right. going to have to rely on his own agility. His own base. Oh, boy. Yeah. He's so famous, I'm sure they won't even attack him. It's a big deal. It is a big deal. So no one's coming up with any songs, right? So do you players have any songs that this guy repeats? Should it be like Rick Rolls or I mean, what songs do you guys know? I think he I think he hums that White Stripes tune. White since Stripes. The Ravens, since the Ravens won uh yeah the other day. 
Oh my god. Just, uh, just keeps humming that. It's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not the white straps though. White straps. White is, stripes. Yeah. Uh, you're talking about seven nation. Seven army? nation army. Yeah, yeah. Man. Any any other? How we feel about that, everyone? You guys. Gold digger. Uh-oh. I don't know what yeah. blippy. I don't know what blippy is. Clerics CW. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it, you're not missing out. <laughs> <laughs> I could actually play uh, Seven Nation Army if you wanted me to rip out my guitar. All right, anyway. nice. So there you go. So you can play it there. All right, yeah. So it's endless. Uh, Jack White humming in the background. <laughs> <laughs> all right i think this is all covered right everyone got everything we need looks like there's some holes here where's delene going in the center um she, she can take up the rear with the old guys i mean she's got a few more hit points than some people i'm sure okay so i'm gonna get you guys tighter all right get it all toy toy let's, toit- let's toiten this up like it move up item thank you all right. I think we'll see when we bop over. Uh, we have one more thing to take care of. Perfect. Perfect. So uh, let's do this. Uh, we'll talk to the fisherman. And mm-hmm. I think you're going to be rolling. It's going to be... I will roll right now to see what the base is. All right, all right. So the base is two gold pieces, and you're gonna do uh, make your reaction roll. And there is one, two, three, four, five things, right? So if it's straight in the middle, six to eight, it's just gonna be the two gold pieces a day, and then it'll be either uh, well, we'll make it three gold pieces a day. Two or one, uh, if you're at nine to eleven, is two. Twelve is one, and the same way the other way. Okay. I don't know what that means, but I'll roll reactions. Roll your goddamn reaction. <laughs> okay. I don't know Gold Digger very well either, Sidewinder. Sorry. All right, seven. All right. so you're Looks straight like down. Three, three, three a day. Yep, three gold pieces a day. So. All right. Um. So I will, and it's it's short enough that they can probably they don't have to stay out there or anything, right? They can just come back every morning and hang out there for a little while, right? Um. Uh, sure. I'm just thinking we don't want them camping out in the jungle on the coast, right? Because that's a recipe for some fishermen to end up eating or something like that, right? All right, yeah. So what is the rule? What do you guys And a chance for a free boat, though. Mm. I always urge our pilots to stay out there and have a good tours. (laughs) Yeah, Hobbs, you... What? I've brought boater peeps around, and they've always just kind of set, set pat. Yep, so far, nothing, nothing bad has happened. Yeah, nothing bad will happen, guys. Trust me. I'm just thinking we could just tell them, like, be there for, you know, an hour or two around noon every day for the next yeah. eight days, and, and we'll just be there on whichever day it happens to be. Well, yeah. you're you're in charge, man. Whatever you want. All to right, do. that is the plan. I what I'm going to tell them is I would like them to just you know boat over to our spot wherever they drop us off, be there from like 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. and do that for the next you know eight days essentially, and uh, they can just pick us up whichever day it happens to be because we're not entirely sure how long it's going to be. All right, so here's the two fishermen. These are the two boats. I'm sure nothing will happen while you're on the boats, but just in case, let's uh, figure out where everyone is on these boats. These are your two fishermen that are your guide, a crazy man named Maltworm and Gabriel. Uh, and any um, characters, NPCs, or PCs, uh, their similarities to any true people is certainly a mistake and not intentional. Which is a complete lie, right, Gabriel? This dude, I'm, this dude looks better than you, but I'm not sure his voice is any sexier out there <laughs> in Spain. Did you get any song uh, recommendations on YouTube? 
I did not get any song recommendations on YouTube. Those son of a biscuits. Y'all know Gabriel's not from Spain, right? Yeah, yeah, he's from <laughs> Uruguay, right? He's from he's from Uruguay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we know it's an old know. it's an old joke that I've been doing for like well, I don't know ten years. Maybe it's been so long, maybe you forgot. Gabriel answers. Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, Nor is doing his best. George Washington crossing the Delaware at the front of the boat, kind of one foot up on the whatever you call the the prow, right? Kind of standing there and directing like traffic. What are uh, Julian? Where are Adam? Which boat are Adam and Ullen in? They're swimming. The right one. Uh. Uh, yeah, I think the right one looks better. All right, so go ahead and put them over there. I like it how one boat has the two wizards in it and their henchmen. Yeah, that boat's lighter. I think Gabriel's probably a much better uh, boater than Maltworm. Don't you guys think so? Well, in that case. All right, so that portion is done. Oh, what are all these people doing on this boat over here? Oh. Don't hurt us over there. Oh. And then the Kraken comes. Oh, wrong button. How did that happen? That's weird. All right, anyway, I don't know how I just deleted all that. <laughs> I'm really good at this game. I'm on top of this. Cause it's still on my screen, but it's not on that one. That's I feel weird. like we have boat combat coming up. <laughs> we might. I'm just preparing us. But now since I broke the map, I'll probably skip it if it happens. All right, so now we're going to head back to the Sindanor map. We're almost there now. Did you guys change maps? Nope. I have not yet. Change no, still on the boats. I was like, no one's changed. That's because I didn't take you guys with me. Here we go. Hey, Here we go. There's your song suggestion on a boat. Dicks on a boat? Is that a song? <laughs> boats and hoes. Oh, boy. All right. So here we go. Let's see what the weather's like. All right. It's balmy. This is a jungle island on the equator of Kalmata. Wait, that doesn't make any sense, does it? I don't even know if that's how you say it. Is that Was that more of the Uruguayan pronunciation, Carl? <laughs> what? I thought it was Kalmata. Kalmata. <laughs> no, when I said Equator instead of uh, um, Equator. Ecuador? Ecuador. <laughs> Ecuador. <laughs> I'm terrible. Julian's been really yeah. quiet. Have you been muting yourself in between talks right here? I just, I, I mean, the porn on the internet is great tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're watching Best Twitch. Based. You're watching Twitch too? <laughs> Subscribe to Hobbs' OnlyFans for uh, $10 million. <laughs> As soon as hey, as soon not, as Julian, Julian mentioned porn, five more people jumped into the channel. Yeah, that's a, they're scanning us. They're scanning us all the time. I'm not getting drawn into Ecuador. Thank you. All right, <laughs> that's probably a good thing. You you are a smart. Yeah. You're a smart guy, man. You're a smart guy. All right, so uh, the movement of a boat is pretty dang good. Ouch. All right, so I think it only takes you guys. A, I've done this calculation many times in my brain. Uh, it takes you just early morning. Where the hell are you going? Fifty four sixty four. Yeah, it only takes. So we're going out here. What? Yeah, I took the boat. No, so we were. We were going to go down to here, but Hob says there's a cliff that runs all along here. So we're going to here and then just climbing up the hills. Yeah. The, instead of landing at the base of the cliff. 
you can get out here, but you can't get out up there. In fact, if both yeah. neither of these have been actually traveled, that's why they still oh, have well, so we could go into them. this one and yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, let's, let's do that. Three XP. Exactly. Is this where Heathcliff lives? What's that? <laughs> Heathcliff lives on a cliff. <laughs> oh God! So I read the Sunday paper. All right, so you guys move into that hex. <clears throat> we'll say um, that you have used one third of your movement points mm -hmm. to get there. So you used up the so four. What's that? Do we know that there's a point of interest where these these are, or no? Yeah. So anybody who uh, it's supposedly in that area that it's known, but if you guys don't know as players, then your characters don't know. If your players know what's there, then your characters know what's there. Okay. It's, if but we any... do know there's something interesting there, maybe? We've heard rumors? Yep. Okay. Can I roll a knowledge geography check to figure out what's there? No. You either know or you don't. <laughs> the knowledge check tells you that there's cliffs to the south. Well, that's good. Good. Yeah, one of them, I think, is a Salvin, uh, an abandoned Salvin village. So, I forget which one. Okay. Because we ran into, uh, we ran into a group of uh, explorers, one of whom came back with us and uh, has become a henchman uh, a couple times. And uh, there was a pretty, a lost in time village with uh, with elves in it. So that's not mm -hmm. Sylvan, that's elves. So, okay, it's all coming back. Okay. So one of those two. For people who are uh, keeping track at home, every ex, uh, hex that you travel through that's not been traveled through before is worth 10 XP per level. Every new location that you find is worth 100 XP per level. You'll also get XP for uh, gold pieces and surviving a journey. A j surviving is 100 gold piece or 100 XP per level. Cool. Because I don't like right. to uh, do a lot of math. So that's the way we do it. All right. So the, it's uh, balmy. You know, you can see uh, the white urns are flapping along. And uh, you move into the jungle and nothing uh, untoward occurs. You have, um, let me see here. Third would be six divided by three years. Four hours, ten. It's getting close to noon uh, after you've disembarked. Um, Maltworm and uh, his companion, Gabriel, have waved goodbye in their sultry voices. And they say, every day we will come here around this time uh, and pick you up. Yo. Cool. Now what are you going to do, Arlen? Um... Well, I think we can get this hex on the way back, actually. So maybe we just go ahead and start moving, um, moving this way through the the kind of lighter jungle, not up into the hills yet, to try to get down here quicker. Sounds yeah, good. let's do that. Okay. All right, so we're gonna move to fifty five sixty. <laughs> All right. So every hex is about two movement points, okay? So mm -hmm. there's nothing there, so you're at five, so you can go ahead and... Oops, wrong button. Uh, seven, nine, 11. And as it's approaching nightfall, you can, you can see that uh, elevation increases to your south southwest southeast and it is um, uh, about similar to where you are to the north and northeast mm -hmm. okay cool what are you gonna do uh camp right if it's almost nightfall yeah you could you uh you only have one movement point left so there's really yeah no so i don't think we can uh yeah so if we only have one, we'll just make a slightly early camp, right? Yep. Fine with me. Okay. That's fine with me. Sounds good. 
our first day and we haven't died yet guys congratulations nice. yeah nice. it only cost you about 30 gold pieces between you all right let's see here Doing a little calculations to see if anything happens. It's so ominous. The sound of I'm the loving. Dice. Yeah, the... I was about to say I'm loving your dice trampoline, Hobbs. Um, <laughs> is it really loud? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's got a, a reverberation every time you roll the dice that goes. <laughs> Let's see. So it's yeah, because but, uh, like, my mic more. is. Attached to the desk, probably. So it's just like moving along. Uh, mm -hmm. Sidewinder asked if the uh, it's a homebrew world. So in the very beginning, I mentioned that this the this area is kind of taken from the treasure vaults of Zadabad from Stormlord Publishing. You can get it on um, what isn't not drive through RPG. What's the other one? Itch. No, no, not it's itch. Oh. the other one. Other one. The other one, other one. Uh, RPG now? You mean? I don't know. If, does that exist still? No. I thought it. I thought that was bought by drive through. It was. Gosh yep. darn it! I can't remember what it's called. But they used to. Everyone used to get their prints. They used to do their stuff there if they didn't. Lulu. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Lulu. Lulu. Yeah. Lulu. Lulu. Yeah, through, the color version through Lulu. There's also a DCC version uh, that you could probably get almost anywhere, I guess, but. Uh, there, this is placed in my uh, setting called the Emergent Empires. So like the cultures and stuff and all that comes from that. So yes, this is a homebrew setting, but it was built off of an existing product that I just plopped into there. I hope that answers your question, Sidewinder. Uh, it was pretty roundabout. You can tell I am rusty. All right. So um, what was I doing? Checking for encounters. Oh yeah, encounters. That's right. All right. So this is take. This is take. Is it taking me longer than usual? It feels like it is. I I feel like we're going pretty standard. I feel like. We're... <laughs> Actually, no. It's slow as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I forgot my pace car. Maybe. <laughs> All right. So. It's been a, a little bit over an hour. Does anyone need to take a quick break while I... Of course, I did not roll any encounters, but it's possible I rolled an encounter. So go ahead and take a quick break, and I will set a map up for us, okay? Okay. Cool. Got cool. it.
I hope I'm sounding okay. Uh, this is actually a new headset. So. Well, fortunately, you have um, Aaron here who is really sounding <laughs> terrible, so you're okay, I think. <laughs> yeah, you sound really good. <laughs> you sound so good. <laughs> yep, that's good, because, uh, yeah, this, uh, this headset is by the same manufacturer as the old one. And it's actually the same model also. Uh, the key difference being that this one is not broken okay. like the old one, like the old one was. So, Well, and you know, good. Taylor, we keep you around for your looks, not your voice anyway, right? <laughs> yeah, I figured. That's, uh, that's what my mom used to say. Good old I'm about twins. Twins. Oh, okay. <laughs> Tell me about twins and kids. That's good stuff. Mm-hmm. Yep, and occasionally send uh, unsolicited pictures of my children to people I know on uh, Discord. So unsolicited, no less. I like it. Yeah, but clean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope so. That would be really bad on the line. Yes, <laughs> I was gonna say. Jesus, Aaron. <laughs> I learned it by watching you. Okay. <laughs> That's recalculus. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Do I have any dirty pictures? I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> Let's see. Let's not find out. No. <laughs> yeah. Share your screen, man. <laughs> <clears throat> His voice made it worse than anything. Jiminy <laughs> <laughs> uh. Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, the so, closest thing. No, go ahead. No, go ahead. Is everyone back? I was. I haven't looked. Yeah, yeah, everybody's <laughs> back. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Bring some wandering monsters, man. I'm on it, brother. I'm on it. I was just gonna say that for those that don't know and are not used to playing this particular type of game, you never quite know exactly what's gonna happen. Like sometimes I'll preload some of the stuff, but. He didn't really even go where he said he was going to go, first of all. <laughs> so, it's all I, don't good. Really, I don't really know and, what's going to uh, happen. I know. It's all my fault. I'm sorry, Hobbs. I tried you to know, talk him just... into going into a totally different direction. Like, we're going to go south. Ha ha, take that. We're going north. But now nah, we're uh, yep. sticking them. Yep. So you guys can see your characters. So that's the campfire. So go ahead and put your characters wherever you would. My dom must be warm. <laughs> Hopefully yeah, not Deline, on top of another character. Yeah, Deline, yeah, Deline was very warm for a very brief moment there. <laughs> yeah, maybe not on the fire. All right, yeah. so... Um, I also usually roll randomly to see like what time of night it is. And then you guys are just forced into your marching order uh, on watch. So, cause if we're going to waste time, it's really just going to be me talking about something that has nothing to do with anything. Um, but if we're going to do anything important, that's just going to be rolled randomly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just right. like life. It's important right. to have procedures. That you For, follow. All right. So, uh, We've has anybody rolled anything yet? You guys only done reaction rolls, so let's start. I think the newest player is uh Julian, so we'll start him as uh, uh the IB. So, Julian, roll a d4, and I'll tell you who is on watch. Can he, sp can he spell burn? Oh, he doesn't need to. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to burn to near 10 points of drink and. Um, there you go. I got a four. 
Oh, four. Sorry. All right. So the people on watch are four. Deline, Adon, and Dolgaz. So you guys got three people on the last watch of the night. Everyone else uh-huh. is asleep. Um, now you can roll a D6. How about another four? Nice. All right. So um, that's cool. I think you guys weren't surprised, so I think that means that you are decently paying attention. And you could hear someone traipsing. You guys have traveled from, uh, obviously, you were in the northwest area heading to the southeast here on this map. Um, so hopefully nothing's coming from any farther east, or there's just not room on the map, right? But uh, one of you guys, who's the most northern one? It looks like Adam is. Adam hears slash spots some creatures moving along uh, indiscernible to you trail here. I'm going to give them a little bit of a light so you can see them. Mm. I'm working on it. It's not there yet. All right. And this is kind of like a bluish glow seems to be coming up you spotted it as it was moving through uh concerned it might be some sort of weird willow wisp but then when it becomes starts to become visible it's even worse they look about the majority of these creatures are uh, about four feet tall and they look crossed between human and some type of goat uh the leader is larger though and he carries uh, a gnarled staff and on the end of the staff is a bluish light uh, that kind of uh, glows fades in and out and it's uh, sickened by a greenish wisp that kind of shifts around in the blue light how, uh, how many of these guys Let's see Deline whispers dibs on the staff Deline <laughs> <laughs> Can whisper that if she wishes. Right into that guy's ears, that wannabe wizard. Hobbs, you said we don't know what to expect in a game like this, but I think you've just demonstrated we can all expect lurid detail in Kalmata. <laughs> all right. Lurid details. I guess that is. And there will be some detritus, some not scintillating yet. treasure. I don't know if I use scintillating. Do you not? No. It seems like a word that would fit. But. It is. I'm going to have to add that to my repertoire. Yep. This turgid pulsing glow. It's uh, coming from the oh. staff. Elf, check, please. That's. <laughs> <laughs> how many? I... How many? Uh... Uh, what can you see, brother? I can't see anything. You might have to zoom out. They're a ways away over here. Uh... Slightly to the uh, north left. Okay. Might want to change your porn screen too. <laughs> That's on the other monitor. He's fine. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. It's going up and down. I just <laughs> four of these guys. Four of these guys with the. Uh... Oh, okay. Hmm. It's gonna be a bad day. Uh oh. Somebody's got to be the goat. Okay, uh, well, I'm wake- did you say Olin, me, and Dolgaz were up, or who was up? Not Dolin, me, and Dol- Yeah, Deline and Dolgaz. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm waking up Olin, and I'll ask those guys to wake up, you know, the next two here. Yeah, Do Olin they look up. like they have noticed us, or are they just passing by? So you spotted them when they were uh, to the a little farther north of you, and... Uh, quieted and maybe even like dampened the fire a little bit or whatever and uh you do not believe they've spotted you yet i'll quietly wake up nor and darmir some goat people yo goat people so they, they were up here and then they you can't see that can you can you see 
Yeah, we can see the arrow. Okay. It's not showing up there. That's So they look like they had kind of been following a trail because this area here is like you guys are above them because this is a raised area. See all this? Where this is like not. This is a hill that you can go down. Otherwise, you'd be jumping off a five to ten foot cliff at any given time. These areas are high. And this one's even taller here. So this kind of rises up here. And then they're traveling along a trail that seems to be uh, here. So right. I'm sorry, how far are they down from us? Yeah, they're down from you five to 15, uh, 10 to 15 feet. Oh, we've got, the, we've got the upper ground. <laughs> um, I feel okay. like there should be a Star uh, well, Wars joke in there, right? No? Yeah, uh, you know how it is. So, um, yeah, we'll start getting people up here. All right, so it sounded like um, so each person could maybe wake up two people if they're around. So move your tokens wherever you're going to go. and uh, I will just, uh, yeah, exactly. Is a good idea. Actually, uh, I'll go over here. The all guys can get these two. I'll get Olin and Azarina. And that should cover us, I think. Yeah. And if they don't wake up, we kind of nudge them into the fire. I didn't realize before this moment that this was the game of destroy all gold people, but it appears to be. Well, it might be. We'll see. It depends on whether they're willing to give uh, Deline the staff or not. Yeah. Good point. Mm -hmm. I hope they're not horny. <laughs> oh, my. I was about to... I... I was about, I was about to say I would give Delene the staff, but I'm not playing my uh, okay. my other character. Oh God, that's some Kalmata. That's some Kalmata deep lore because Azarus carries a staff. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. and Delene Theon would use it as a microphone. Sing. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Uh, Abdi, we get everybody up here. You do indeed, but apparently the moving around, the group pauses, and the taller guy with the pulsating tumescent staff <laughs> calls out some sounds, and the group kind of pauses and starts to shift around. What do you do? I guess he wouldn't go, he'd go, he'd go, Who's got a Who's got a good charisma to talk to these guys? Uh, Arlen, is are you the? I'm I'm happy to try to talk to these guys. Um, although Nor, the first thing he's going to do, he'll reach down to his belt and pull off a kind of fist-sized cylinder, presses the button on it, and telescopes out into his spear. <laughs> That's right next to the one that telescopes into a ten-foot pole. Exactly. Yeah. Um. And then I can, whichever direction it looks like they're coming from, I guess I can, uh, hard to tell until the, the leader moves, but I can move towards the, the sort of slope and see if I can't, you know, be, be there to try to talk to them. It's like a slope right here. No, no I thought, no. I thought this is a, a higher point. Yeah, so that's it's, a higher point. Rises. The slope, uh, is you guys came up here from there. And you mm -hmm. spotted another one was down here to the south. There's also a raised area here behind you. That's a mm -hmm. raised area up here. All right. So actually, wait. I'm a I'm a dwarf, right? So Hobbs, remind me. Can dwarves see in the dark and all that sort of stuff in this yeah, game? Yeah, they have not around fire. Not around fire. That's yeah. okay. You'd have to be away from the flames. All right. So I will say. Um, uh, so I'll. I'll say, Darmir, watch my back. And I'm going to start moving towards the high point. All right. Nice. Hey, uh, Carl, roll a d6. A one. A number 12 on his shirt? What do you mean, Sidewinder? Anybody know what Sidewinder means with the number 12? Does that sound like Aaron Rodgers or something? It does wear number 12, yeah. But is that why he asked? Also Tom Brady. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, the yeah. goat. Got it. The goat. <laughs> that took a while, didn't it? 
That would be a number uh, 23, I would think, but. Uh, anything better than freaking Packers. Thank you. <laughs> or isn't that, wasn't that uh, Aikman's number, 12? Uh, no, I thought it was oh. 8. Mm, maybe you're right. Staubach was 12? It seems like one of those guys yeah. was 12. Yep, Staubach was 12. All right. This is the fun stuff here. All right, well, so it looks like they, if they, unless they jump like goats, they'd be approaching from here or here. Mm -hmm. All right. What was the one for? Can Mungo do anything? Uh, well, I mean, basically, Noor, go ahead and move where you were going to. Yeah, so I was trying to move, clamber up to, like, up here, basically. Was Darmer going? Dalmer. Darmer's okay. coming behind me. All right, what are you doing, uh, Mungo? Mungo's probably gonna move up to up to here as well and have Gurn follow. Okay. Let's see what they're doing. Adam. Um, can I could I cast laying down like on my belly, just like looking off the the surface of the higher ground here? Um. It'd be it would be difficult. Maybe I would make you have to make a roll to see if you can get it off. Because I mean, I think you're normally casting is going to be like a loud, obvious thing. So laying on the ground, it might be hard harder than usual to make the uh, movements necessary to harness the magic. I'm not saying it would be impossible, but I might make you make a spell roll to see if you can do it or something. Well, I think what I'm going to do is then use it use it human shield. Scenario. Yeah, Azarina, Azarina can move. Dolgaz doing anything? Deline doing gonna anything? Come back and cover Deline, who's going to punch back in the shrubberies with her light crossbow. And Dolgaz will keep his eyes this way and occasionally he'll glance over yonder. <laughs> he'll keep, he, he's got a roaming eye. He's got that each wall direction. Action. <laughs> each direction. All right, so Mungo made a, a surprise roll earlier uh, and failed. So, unfortunately, you guys are surprised when some sneaky goat men rush out of the brush. Yeah. They must have made it up the hill. Yeah, we shouldn't have been surprised. It's Kalmata. You're always surprised. Oh. I mean, you're, you're, you're very obviously looking in places, but not enough places at once. Uh. All right. So Need like him. I said, these guys are about four feet tall and uh, they don't just look like uh, anthropomorphic goat men. They look like a weird mutated cross between goat. Uh, goats and humans so like one guy might actually have part of a human face with like a horn coming out of the other side of him a normal leg and one goat leg or just like a mix of it they all look like this so it definitely seems like some kind of weird mutated mongrel men or something uh but they Back charge the family tree. <laughs> one of them throws a spear and then the other three charge for azarina niece oh azarus Ay, 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 ay. Yep, she's do, ready. They don't sound like that, they say. Ah. <laughs> All right, first roll will be uh, the throne spear, and then the other will be uh, their attack spears, okay? All right, so I have this nice... Did you guys get the OSE? Uh uh gm screens sure hmm. yeah if it's in the box yeah in the box from the new one you mean well, like the old one and then yeah well this is like the brand new one from the uh advanced thing can you see it uh, okay you're a big deal man this is like it's landscape and it's pretty most of the stuff that i really like i always used to use the big fat dragon with the rack of art. You know what I'm talking about? No? Anybody? Oh, this well, is... going to help folks die? That's a folder. The who? The rack of art. The whack-a-mole? 
this is for the people at home and then i'll show these other guys because they're looking at a different camera so this is the rack of art oh lower it lower it yeah there you go oh uh, okay this is from richard leblanc big fat dragon this is a pretty cool one they kind of mixed a lot of mm. labyrinth lord and stuff in it uh they're pretty expensive though and they're super hard but they're not they're not as durable as the one that came from uh necrotic gnome this thing is like it's thick it's like the oh it's like the 5e one pretty much so cool mm. but it has like a lot of the stuff that i normally look for like now i can see what the four m's are without having to open a book uh when combat begins uh reaction tables ac all the stuff is the matrix so this tells me that these guys are monster hit dice up to one and an 18 hits ac one an 18 will hit. The 14 hits uh, AC4. Will miss. All right. So one of these hits. So one of these guys come bang up there. and uh, stab, I'm about to have a bad time. Stab Azarina. Ow, my liver. Just a, just a mere graze. I, he cracked a nail. Uh, oh yeah, and this uh, this other guy does do something with this pulsing staff. The glow of light doesn't seem to stay perfectly on the staff. It kind of like shifts and moves like a like a stream of blue and corpuscent uh, green sapphire light following it around, streaming through like an after effect. Uh, corpuscent. Did I say a bad word? Did I say it wrong? <clears throat> I may have. It didn't turn me on as much as the prior one. Oh, I see. Corpulent. Tumescent. All right. Tumescent <laughs> yeah. light. Is that better? There you go. <laughs> I'm on top of it. Yeah. Uh, if you wink when you say it, too. So. <laughs> Tumescent. <laughs> I'm winking. It's just not with my eyes. <laughs> uh, God, stop it! My brown-eyed girls. Oh God! Ah. All right, here we go. One, two, three. All right. Nor seems to be the one. Nor, why don't you make a saving throw versus magic spell? All <laughs> right. Staff spells or magic staff. Let's go. Spells, yeah. Oh no! Oh, a failure. All right. So nor that same colored light appears over top of his eyes and nor is blinded uh oh that seems like bad news Crap. Oh, sorry nor you can't see anything anymore can you well Darmer can still see so he can are you watching twitch so. or are you watching your own screen well really no, on somebody, my own screen i can see somebody can because it's i have to do that so the people at home can watch oh okay Anyway, but yeah, however nor, you're going to do it, nor I'll just cover it. my eyes and just you drag my mouse around randomly so that I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> right. I like that's it. Kind of, that's kind of what I do during the entire session. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And some of these guys leave that area of light, but some of them also seem to be you can hear scurrying uh, down below. They certainly seem quite agitated. And I believe it's time for initiative. Julian. Is it me? Yep. Uh, what is it, a D6? Yep. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Nice. All right, just a two. All right, so the four M's. Morale, movement. Is anyone moving? Uh, henchman, go on our turn. Yep. yep. Actually, no. I'm gonna. Um, my henchman's gonna. Uh, it's gonna stay for now. Yep. I'm gonna have. Okay. Uh, oh. Gonna have Mungo move to here. Okay. To back up the uh, arena. Yeah. Go ahead and move him. Okay. Or not. Sorry, Gorm. Mungo's staying put. 
So he's probably got a uh, spear, so you could attack from without having to move up if you'd like. Uh, why have Azarina get ganged up on? It's fine. Oh, yeah. He probably uses hammer. He has a hammer, so yep. war hammer. That's fine. So shouting does not start with an M, so I don't know where it goes in the turn, Hobbs. Uh, last. No, I'm just kidding. You can go ahead and say whatever you want. Okay. So Nor will, you know, drop his spear and grab at his eyes and shout, I've been ensorcelled! Avenge me, Darmir! And Darmir will move into combat. Okay. Good. Dude. 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 And he's not going to move into... He's got a spear, so he's going to stay back and poke at them. Oh, man. Battle music. Mm-hmm. Battle music by Kevin McLeod. Attack of the Mole Men. I think he really meant to say Goat Men, but failed. All right. Uh, anybody else moving? Is Dolgaz, Deleem? Uh, yep, Dolgaz Dana. will move. He'll run up side by side with Darmir, spear okay. and shield. All right. Ready to stab you later. Stab you later. Stab him now. Stab him now. All right. If you say so. Just kidding. All right. So uh, okay. that was movement. Anyone missileing? Missileizing anybody? Deleem is. Okay, magic missling or just regular missling? Regular missling, because she's a wizard or a magic user with shitty spells. <laughs> so she's throwing a dagger? I cast she, floating well, disc. She's learned how to uh, shoot the light crossbow over the sessions. Okay, nice. So that is what she will do at, say, uh, is this guy fine to plop at? He's in melee, so... Oh, this guy here. I'll move the Chudley in the shadows, yeah. Nice short range yet. All right. Let us roll. Let's just see if that does anything. He's uh, 50 feet. Oh, I rolled a 19. Or a 15, or something. AC3, AC3 good three, stuff? one damage. Let us find out. No, I live on. And then I'll reload. Anyone else missling? No melee. Magic. Anyone magicking? Yes. Magicking. I Dom. I Dom will cast sleep on the uh, staff guy and his henchmen there. Nice. All righty. I think so. If I'm going group, do I need to roll 2d8 so you've got my, you know, we do the hits or do you do that? I think I usually have you do it. Where's my reference book? Yeah, roll it up, Julian. Is that right? There we go. Duty eight. Oh, for fuck's sake. Jeez, Lord. Five Total of five. Dice. Come on, eight siders. How do you do me like that? Do me. Just too close to the fire. Gonna get burnt. <laughs> All righty. They fall to slumber. The pulsing light slowly starting to fade. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. This one too, so or this one's out of it? Yes. Did not fall. Okay. Hmm. Sorry, which? Uh, sorry, which hops? Only the ones that are marked fell asleep. The little. Uh, so, the yes. oh, so the leader fell asleep too? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but this this bad boy here is still awake. Ah, uh, got it. Good. Ooh, look at that. Right. You notice how it got dimmer? Man, this thing is good. Why'd the music stop? Because it sucked. Maybe the music... <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say maybe the music get maybe the music got put to sleep, but that was... Boom! <laughs> that was funnier. I liked that. Well, I don't even ever hear it. I don't have my settings right. Can't really say anything. That's not good. All right. Any any uh, now is the time for melee. 
Yeah, Mungo was going to cast a spell, but it's not necessary anymore. Okay. You just want to cast it anybody else? No, nah, it's not. I don't think it'd be worth it. Okay. Nice. So, melee. Looks like Azarina's in the midst of it there. Yep, she is. And she is going to take a swipe at that bad boy who stabbed her with his little goat horns or whatever. Go ahead. Bam! <laughs> we are playing uh, we are playing footsie today. So AC1 one, one damage. <laughs> he looks half slain. Which one did you attack? Um whichever one hit me. So yeah, so this top one apparently. Alright, so how I guess I'll have Mungo stab with the spear. Can I do that? The spear. I'm trying to figure out yeah, go ahead. Okay. That's probably a miss. And then Gurn is gonna smack this guy with the hammer. Seventeen hits. Okay, and the hammer is oh. hammer is a D six for six points. Bam! <clears throat> Someone got our goat. Which one? This one here. Yeah, this one here. All right. So this, this guy. one. This guy here. Ow! Okay. <laughs> Uh, right, that's what about, my melee. We got, it looks like we got, it uh, doesn't look like Darmir is up to, close enough to attack, but uh, the other guy is dull guys. I thought Darmir had a spear. Oh, he can attack this guy, you're right, right here. Yeah, they can, yeah. They can both stab this guy here. All right, I will roll Darmir's attack. That's probably not enough. I'll roll dull guys's attack. This that's probably not enough. Is that everyone? <laughs> yeah. So we know his AC is somewhere between 1 and 17. <laughs> Narrowing it down. Oh, the, it only goes up negative 3 and 9, so I don't, I don't know. You know. I don't know if I can <clears throat> extrapolate anything past that. You son of a bitch. Come on, Goatman. Fail your morale check. Easy, buddy. Easy. Yeah, use the rules. I don't use rules. You know that. So Darmir, oh, Darmir missed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is second attack? Nerds. Yeah, he missed. He yeah. rolled a nine. That was Dolgaz. Sorry, but uh, the bottom okay. roll on the sheet there. All right. He'd never used one before. Now it's there. Go. All right. This one here. Uh, starts garbling and certainly seems distressed when he goes back here to check on his uh, his corrupted master. Yes, bring me the staff. So, quick question, uh, Hobbs. This, uh, this bit here, I know that is a downward space. How, how tall is that? Um, like, usually I go by the width of it. The wider it is, the higher okay. it is. So like that right there, right by Mungo is probably about five or six feet, just up there a little bit by where Garm is. It probably grazes a little more and then it gets even farther up like where Nor is. Okay, so like here ish it's probably like five to seven feet. Yep. Okay. Is it a direct drop or is it kind of like a uh no, it goes about a five foot. The slope is still pretty steep. Slope. Okay, it's a steep slope. Okay. Yeah. Cool. None of these guys know that anything happened. So they do not flee yet. But Glean, you do spot some coming from the south there. Do you see that? Yes, I will. I'll chirp that out loudly. 
All right, these other guys attack from top to bottom. Two on Azarina and one on Dolgaz. The ever living. Well, that's Mumra, isn't it? Oh boy. All right, so <laughs> Azarina and Dolgaz are both struck. Four points to Azarina, two points to Dolgaz. <laughs> My most of me. Azarina seems quite wounded. You can sacrifice your shield. One of the house rules we use. Shield right. shall be sundered. Agreed. Regrettably, she is not carrying one. That is regrettable. Only fighters can do that, right? Or is that anyone? Anybody in, the, in this game. Anybody but fighters can cleave. Yep. Unless you're not on the Patreon. That's right. Mm -hmm. Patrons cannot cleave. <laughs> all right uh next uh so did you you won right julian as long as you win you stay in the pocket brother i'm gonna declare right. withdrawal all right here we go oh well got a chance no ah. chance come on Ooh, this cheating delene this doesn't look good for you girl they can see me through that thick, thick foliage. Foliage? Foliage? I hopped foliage. down there hoping for a little screenage. Did you try to hide? I didn't declare I was hiding, but I was no, just, I'm just hoping asking to. You. I mean, I shot a crossbow and I reloaded. I don't know if I can hunker down behind a frond. But you also uh, yelled that, hey, dudes are yep. coming down here. Yep, so I sure did. Yeah, all right. So we'll give you a, uh, a dex roll at half to see if you've maybe hidden yourself sure. well enough. I'll just do the dex thing. I need a six or lower. Oh, oh not quite. So close. Oh. They obviously didn't like your chirping. They are known chirp what? haters. I have best-selling records. They're <laughs> known <laughs> chirping. They're known chirp haters. Well, it's time for the chirp later. Hey! Chirp -a so they oh, attack yeah. you. Look out, Deline is going to look even thinner after this. Ooh, a 17. I don't even eat rations. <laughs> 17 probably hits. I may see six. Yeah, 17 hits. At every hit dice, less than negative one, still hits. Normal humans would even hit. So three points of damage on Deline. Oh. With the 13 hits AC6. I am. It hits. Ooh, four points of damage. Oh, my bosom. All right. Apparently, Deline's bosom is affected horrifically. As soon as the music starts, everyone left chat. They're like, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> Combat? We don't want that. We just want you guys talking like morons to each other. All right. So apparently Deline is still alive. Yes. Uh, did we? I didn't do the top attack this round yet, right? Right. Whizbiz. Five twelve. I haven't seen this guy in a long time. Oh my god! For those of you not in the know, Whizbiz might be part of the Wolf Clan. So the top two are, are Azarina, and the bottom one is Dolgaz. 14 uh, hits AC5. Taylor. Oh, AC5 will miss. Misses. Just scratches off of your shield, right? It scratches off of the shield I'm not carrying. So. Oh. oh, you're not carrying a shield. Nice. Correct. So potentially bounces off of the breastplate. At this point, uh, the goat man down below hasn't realized what happened to uh, their fearless tumescent leader uh, and he has grown less turgid than he once was almost <clears throat> flaccid at this point and um, hasn't figured anything out he's just down there messing around and it's mm -hmm. your guys's turn um, movement 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 as arena are you uh, retreating uh, yes with plate that gives me 20 feet of movement 10 uh, 10 Half well, we have 10, five. 10 with the draw all right Cool, got it. So, 
So you said this guy does not appear to have... Uh, oh, I'm not pinging. This guy does not appear to have figured out what's going on yet? No, he just seems to be fretting about his larger leader. Okay. So I would like to try to slide down this embankment. Is that possible? Uh, dex check. If you roll a 20, you're going to take damage. Uh, if you make it, you won't take damage, but you don't can't do anything. If you critically succeed, you can still move. But you can only move five feet. You can't really attack or do anything usually in a retreat, but since it's right there, mm -hmm. if you want to just fall off that cliff, then go ahead. All right, that's the plan. So I appear right. to have succeeded. All right, I rolled you're down four. there. You're at the bottom. All right. Okay. Nice job. Nazarena slides by. Yay! <laughs> Derm and... Uh, Legolas like slides down the hill on her non shield. Okay. Anybody else moving? Yeah, Mungo's gonna move up. All right. Mungo fills the gap. Or Gurn oh, is. Sorry, Gorn, uh, Gurn fills the gap. Um, I guess Mungo's gonna back him up. Well, shoot. Can he reach Azarina? How badly is Azarina injured? Well, so she's at. That's what I'm asking. She's at the bottom of the hill. She looks pretty bad. Her red hair is dripping blood, making it even that much redder. Okay, well. Apparently her scalp so, was sliced by the I guess the question, before I move Mungo, could he breach her from where he's at, or is, that, is she no, too far down? she's too okay. far down. He's going to move to back up Gurn, besides. All right, screw Azarina. Not well, literally. Get it. I mean, well, maybe. She's got that 18 charisma. Easy. All right. Anyone else moving? Uh, Dolgaz wants to help out Delane. What is the uh, impact of breaking combat with this goat feller? If he wants to move an attack, he'll get a free attack at you. A plus two. He can go for it. All right. I dangle my shield behind me. Or he did. I'm not Dolgaz. Is that all you're dangling, sir? Indeed. Otherwise, I'm tucked. Ready for battle. All right, good. Here it is. Goat attack. 17. I shatter my shield? Uh, Dolgaz cannot shatter shields as a man at arms. Just, yeah, you just said everybody could. First level and above. Would you want to change your mind if you were misconstruing that rule? Mm. Kind of. I mean, I totally misconstrued it. I'll let Dolgaz. you. That's fine. He'll just take a five-foot step back and do his stab when he can. He won't be able to attack if he's taking a withdrawal. No, he's just moving back to use his spear better. Oh, okay. Well, you have to withdraw or you have to flee, one or the other. Withdrawal means you can't take an attack. Fine, he'll just stay right there then. All right. Meanwhile. Meanwhile. <laughs> confusing for nothing. Is this an available square to step yep. in? Yep. So she wants to withdraw. All right. So you can um, move, take half of your movement with you withdraw, but you can't do anything else. So without wearing armor, you can probably move like 20 feet. So four squares. All right. Uh, Deline backs up. Hands one, gesticulating. Two. Why are you moving away from support? Away from the goat. Okay. Maybe hide behind the fire. 5, 10, 15, 20, at least you're a little closer. 5, 10, 15, 20, all right. Yep. Perfect. All right. I'm just anyone, trying to hope we win an issue. this guy here? Is anyone else moving? Adam? Uh, no. All right. Nope. Is Wait. Normir going to move or anything? No, he's going to attack this guy, I guess. All righty. Missiles. Uh, both Adam and Ulan will do missile. All right. What are you doing, Ulan? Ulan's going to chuck his spear at the waked one down by the leader. Nice. All right, so how far are that's, we? Uh, that's going to be at the edge of medium range, cool. I believe. All right. As long as it's not long, I think uh, medium is normal. No penalties. Yeah, short is like a bonus. Pl yeah, medium. short is plus one. All right, so just standard D20 type thing. Rose yeah, attack roll or? All right. Oh, hey. oh, yeah. Hell yeah. All right. D6. For Ulan. 
D6. How about five points of damage on that oh. guy? All right, so Ulan the old spear flies down at the hand ringing goat man. Three of them, three of them sleeping, and one of them sleeping forever. I hope. Takes a dirt sleep. Good shot. And then uh, Ida Adam is going to throw his dagger at one of the ones menacing in Deline. Okay, so, yeah. So uh, they're not in melee right now, so you don't have to do anything special. Go ahead and roll. All right. Is it a twenty feet? Yeah. Hey, the Gimp Boy. That's a new name. Welcome to the channel. All right, then. The levels are kind of across the board. Uh, that, I, I think that was the. Yeah, you rolled the D6 happened. initiative. Uh, um, All right. I think so, Deline is second uh, level. Is anybody else? Deline is third second? level. Deline's third level. Mungo is third level. Mungo right, and Deline are third. First, Everyone yeah. else is first, I believe. All right, here we oh, go. Very Fourteen nice. from from behind, I guess. On these, right? huh? Huh? Hot seat from behind, right? Fourteen's good. Oh, shot. that's gonna hit him. Essential. All right, and D four damage. Three, oh yeah. All right, which one? The close one? Yeah, might as well. Might as well is right. All right, this might. Um, some rando on YouTube named Cody Mazza says hi. Cody Mazza on the YouTube, the mysterious Cody M. Man, there's a lot of Wolf Clan people watching Kalmata right now. You think he could chip in, turning into a goat man? He could give us some advice. Oh, right. he's on Twitch now, maybe too. He sent, maybe he sent them. <laughs> maybe he bred them. Who's the oh, gimp? He, maybe he bred them. Who's That's the gimp point. boy, Aaron? Who's this gimp boy guy? That's a buddy of mine. Oh, nice. Welcome. Welcome Don't to the Don't say he's never done nothing for you. <laughs> I tracked one fan for five minutes. Nice. Good work. He said he was going to stick around for the RPG, bro. <laughs> All right, so uh, melee. Um, okay. Melee. Do you want me to go first, or do you want to go with your guys? Everyone um, can just roll. It looks like, I mean, there's not a whole lot going on up here. You got Mungo, you got uh, Darmir, and Doldaz, and Derm. Why don't you do your two? Mungo with the spear. Yeah, go do your two first, Carl. All right, God, nah, probably a miss. <laughs> Right. It's a miss on this AC guy AC nine, yeah, that's a miss. These guys have AC seven. Okay, and then his hench is a man at arms with a hammer. Hammer, miss. miss. All right, no. Darmir. Darmir rolled a thirteen. I don't know what that translates to. That is a normal human seven. AC seven. That's a hit. Roll damage. Nice. Which one's you hit? I'm hitting the one right in front of right here to try to let you take over this side, basically. Solid. Four points. Oh, that will be enough. I zoned out for a, I was I got lost in chat of uh, the wolves making fun of each other. All right. Let me know when you're done being lost. All right, I'm back. Oh, cool. All right, I'll go after this guy with Dolgaz. Do thug. it. Oh, he's impressive. Six. That see. was impressive. Not really. Thank you. All right. Anybody else? Nope. I think that's it, that's right? It. Nor can Nor do anything, or what? You can just walk around blind. What's a what? Well, yeah, it's up to him what he'd like to do. Yeah. Well. I, I think he doesn't want to go anywhere because he knows he's fairly close to the, the cliff. Oh, right, right. Right, so he doesn't really want to move without being able to see. I'll shout that a common remedy is to rub cucumbers in your eyes. It'll work. Mm. Trust me. 
Okay. Yeah, we're playing old school essentials. You can see it right here in the top right corner of the Twitch channel video. All right. New round, right? Because they went first. Yeah, new round. Uh, you lost. So I usually go to the right to Aaron. What am I doing? Initiative, Initiative sir. Numbers. Son of a bitch. Spell. Give me a four. I'll Eight to one, a sir. A three does it. All right, yeah. so... Uh, I declare magic for Dolene. Too late. You rolled initiative first. Did I? You just rolled it. <laughs> well, that was my hatchet attack. <laughs> I'm just Fair enough. You can. Oh. Air, yeah, Aaron's IB right now. All right. Unicorns are move. for everyone showing up in the chat. It's been a while. It's good to see everybody back. It's so exciting to see some old gamerhood gamers. All right, sorry. Uh, movement. Yeah, I'm just going to move to there. Movement. Um, hey, this round, Adam is going to just move here and mm -hmm. uh, take a five foot step. I'm going <laughs> to just pull Noor with me to away from the edge. I could get him away from there. All right, that's nice. Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm assuming Noor goes along with him. As long as you can tell that he's not being gripped by like a, a furry goat hand or something. This oh, way. not the hand. All right, so G out, <laughs> Adam's I'm hand comes out, and it does look a little furry, but just because he's really hairy on the back of his hands. Mm. All right, <laughs> but you can't see it because you are blinded. Yep. So yeah, I'll let myself get pulled back a little bit. All right. And then, uh, what's what's movement for these guys? One, two, three, four. Well, how many squares do they get, Jason? Who? Uh, like Olin. Oh, uh, it depends on what he's wearing. He's got leather. leather. Uh, yeah, so he can move 40 feet. Oh, shit. Okay. There three, it is. Let me. Three. Movement. They don't have the movement based by. I don't have the optional coming through. Oh, here it is. Light armor leather is base movement. 30 feet. 30 feet. Okay. He's, he thinks he's a badass now, so he's charging with his club, and he's going to attack uh, one of these goat men down here. Yeah, let's go, Owen, you old sum gum. <laughs> Did you roll? I think I said for movement. Oh yeah, we haven't rolled yet, have we? Missiles. Anybody missling? Yeah. No. Missile no. free. Magic. Delene. Cast levitate. <laughs> levitate. Nice. On he your jacks skirt. it up twenty feet. Levitate on your skirt. All right. Uh, find a. Uh, uh, some kind of symbol that shows like you're levitating. Fine. I'll do All right. so. Oh, Melee. wounds on myself. All right. Oh, cool. I didn't know Azarina was a cleric. That's cool. Yes. And I, I seem to recall we had the, the Kalmata house rule where if you have a wisdom uh, plus one, you get that first level spell. Yep. yep. That's correct. Azarina. So what's this look like when Azarina calls to the heavens her gorgeous and un uh, unmatched red crimson locks just start twirling as a uh, spiral of air uh, blasts around her uh, Marilyn Monroe style and uh, her plate mail doesn't flutter like a skirt but uh, her uh, her hair so her, her her hair totally does and uh just in the the absolute art. So. <laughs> She's, does she say anything? <laughs> she goes, I cast your light wounds. <laughs> By my fiery crimson locks. <laughs> 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 All right. So she gains five hit points and a perm. Nice. All right, then. Um, melee. I want to see what Owen does down here, Julian. All right, Alan is going after these guys. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, 10. 10 with the club. That's a miss. Nah. 
Buy my shit, I'm gonna walk. <laughs> go, go for it, Carl. Let's go, buddy. All right. The geomologist. Mungo is Mungo's gonna drop his spear and pick up his hammer and try to smash this thing. Misses. Uh, miss. <laughs> wow. What about Gurn? And uh, Gurn, Gurn is going to also attack with his hammer. Same one. That is po possibly oh, a hit. That's definitely a hit. And he crushes that one, probably. I hope. Maybe. Was it the higher or lower one? 16 and then a 6 for damage. Which one? I forgot. Which uh, person? Uh, th uh, this one here. One in front. Ah, he's going to make Dar Darmir move. Take that bit. All right. Darmer. Dolkaz. Nope. Skipped you. Ha <laughs> ha. What's All right. Darmer doing? Uh, well, he can't reach anybody anymore. So That's correct. He <laughs> jabs ineffectually at the air. <laughs> that also sounded like an innuendo somehow. Go ahead, Dolkaz. Thank you. <laughs> that was, that was anticlimactic. All right. Anyone else? No. No, I think that's everybody. Anyone? Anyone? Correct. Good. Hi. Yeah. So this yeah. guy flees, so uh, both of the dwarves can attack it with a plus two. These guys flee through the flage in French, so they are backstepping. Uh, Olin and Dolgaz can attack. Ooh, that's a hit. Oh, so close. Five. For Gurn. Oh, oh yeah. Hell roll yeah. damage for Olin's club, which is a D4, by the way, not a D6. Oh, Jeez. yeah. Oh, he survives. Oh, to the chopper. On. He says, it's not a tumor. And he uh, <laughs> flees. Yeah, I guess this guy got cut down, right? Yeah. Five he's, points he, of damage. He he kind of trailed a bunch of blood and then collapsed at the edge of the firelight. Okay. One of the guys oh, fleeing is a lot of blood dripping off of him as they go did, uh, did, buying did, into did, the jungle. <laughs> Bye, did, uh, guys. Get an attack on my on the fleer guy. He did. Yeah, yeah, he hit it. Didn't kill him. Dolgaz missed, though. Oh, shite. Ultra for five. Okay, well. All right, so now what do I you guess Mungo's get can see to healing, call Dion down and can try to heal her. I guess Gurn, he's going to order to back up Azarina and help help them take out those sleeping ones, I'm assuming. Yeah. Ooh, you guys going to chop them down? Yeah, as a clear guy, I'm prohibited skulls. from using the slashed weapons, but yeah, definitely want to smash them before they wake up. Okay, yeah, indeed. Right. I like it. Yep. All right, let me see. Sleep is mean like that. Indeed. Classic fantasy monsters. Sorry, I'm going to find. So can we move ourselves down there? Or... Uh, yeah, if you want to. We're out of combat. You don't necessarily have to use the use that at this moment let me turn off this fucking music man Gurn did awesome <laughs> he killed like three dudes <laughs> Gurn the destroyer Gurn goat hater <laughs> Smash and then All right. the smash. Alright. And Mungo can heal um Celine Dion. That's my cousin. I'm Deline Sion. <laughs> All right, so um, 
the fate the light that was at the staff fades away as the light that's uh, blinding now or also fades away it seems to be some sort of spell that the corrupted half goat man beast uh, had cast on that but you do find uh, like 12 pieces of silverite and a couple of uh, uh, obsidian gems Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did cucumbers like, uh, work? There are three. Sorry. I did say a couple, but three is what it needs to be. <laughs> three. What does that staff look like? It looks like a gnarled uh, piece of tree, like a stick, a limb or something. Yeah, I think at the end of it, it'll like like it's the roots almost of some kind of uh, weed or small tree, and nestled in the roots are blood is blood soaked dirt. Mm -hmm. Only two points there, Deline. Sorry. That's that's very kind of you. I. Make a donation to your church. I should be fine. Actually, the way the way Mungo cures people is he has a swig of beer and then spits on them. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, at least I got healed this time. <laughs> me of last Thursday. She's like, normally that's lubrication, but this sounds like beer. All right. Yeah, you, if if you like the cure light, you should see the cure moderate. Oh yeah, or the cure paralysis. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> So, is there any indication this staff is uh, has any qualities, or is it just uh, like he's casting his spells with it type thing? I mean, any any writing or any uh, anything interesting besides gnarl treatness? Adam slowly runs his fingers along the shaft of the uh, goat man shaman, oh. and <laughs> he, he oh, doesn't find man. any unnatural whorls or uh, indices or more <laughs> runes anywhere on the uh, fully hardened staff. Wow. Okay. So, wow. <laughs> I just got a wow from Julian. <laughs> I mean, wow. So feeling on one of the, on one of the goats, uh, the goat men feeling the horn, it, um, you say they they appear to be a mishmash of human and goat. Uh, they are different, each of them, in how they are configured. Say that again, sorry. So the, the goat men, they are differently configured. Each yeah. of them a mismatch. Okay, like someone took a goat and a human and put it in a blender and then it put together. Cool. All right, if I can detach the horns off of one of them and... Uh, keep that in my pack for future reference <laughs> sure you're just going to use like your eating knife or are you going to ask someone to do it or are you just going to try and smash it off with your mace <laughs> I'll, sma I'll smash it off with a blunt object yeah all right that's fine yeah you got it rat ward man thanks unicorns are everyone it's good to see everybody uh so now you have yeah um this mutated goat man or is it a mutated human Yep, that's the question. That's the question that we'll hope to answer. All right. So while you guys ponder what you're going to do, I'm going to take a break and get a drink of water and a pee, and uh, not in that order, <laughs> or at the same time. All right. Well, oh, everybody's leaving, so. Mm
I see some people are missing. So I have been gaming for 40 plus years, but I've almost never painted any miniatures, but I did prime my max for battle tag. excited about it. They look cool. We'll see how long it takes me to actually paint them. What else is up? How you doing, Aaron? I was perfectly happy on mute, but uh, I'm still doing perfectly well. <laughs> how are you, man? I am so pumped to finally be getting Kalmata going again. I After thought the Jodo was going to take over and it would all be unexplored again. <laughs> Maybe. That was a bit of dick move. <laughs> uh, in the past, because uh, I usually say it goes by the days, like whatever day it is in real life, that's kind of the way it is there. Since we haven't played in six months, you know, why haven't we played in six months? Usually, like, I think in the past it's been a tsunami or something that occurred that created the situation that no one had been adventuring. But So no one can really do anything when the heavy rains hit, usually. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. That would be a dick move, but that's something uh, Julian would do since he's not here to defend himself. Well, he'd probably agree with you. The race class combos, so Sidewinder, this is race as class, so you don't, except. except for Carl's character, uh, Mungo, who is a dwarven cleric. Arlen's a dwarf, um, Aaron's playing a human wizard, Julian's playing a human wizard, Taylor is playing a human cleric. Uh, is that it? Everyone's messed up because someone shut off their thing. Julian's probably not coming back. He's like, this is the dumbest game I've ever played. Why are we playing DCC? <laughs> All right. I want Spellburn. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, What do we got going on YouTube, Arlen? Um, we have some commentary about the various comments. People are wondering if they are allowed to respond to the comments about nerds or if that will turn them into a nerd. So, you know, I'm pretty sure that's how watch, that works. Only if they admit to watching Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they they and can somebody, watch somebody this on YouTube, but not. <laughs> this doesn't make a nerd, but Game of Thrones does. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead, Arlen. <laughs> then we got somebody named Ballerina Dancer who's apparently having fun laughing. All right, Ballerina Dancer, welcome to the Gamerhood. So, to let you guys know, since this is the middle, uh, I am Jason Hobbs. I have a podcast. And I am uh, Mr. Hobbs of the Gamerhood, and Kalmata is uh, an open table West Marches game, and you have to be a patron to get it. So occasionally you'll see the uh, <laughs> uh, it come up how to find the Patreon, I think, or subscribe on Twitch or whatever you want to do. It's it's not a lot of money. I think it's uh, three dollars or something to uh, get into the Kalmata group to or in order to play in the Kalmata. Right. Legendary Kalmata, oh. the Isle of Adventure. These are the days of high adventure. And if you don't exactly. know, everyone here is a podcaster and a game master, except for Aaron, and he is just the Coleman Show. That's all he needs to do. Game to master. Come I on. know. The Coleman Show would be awesome. More, you can more. talk about how to keep your beer chilled or your <laughs> sodas if you don't drink beer. How to grow a righteous mustache? Yeah, or that's beard. awesome looking. I could have some guests then. <laughs> right, that's right. We can talk about Coleman versus Yeti. That'd be awesome. <laughs> well, here I am using my Yeti. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh boy. All right. I don't think I've had anyone named like ballerina dancer since. Um... Muff Diver when we were doing the Librem Society art. <laughs> oh no, it was mm. Beaver Beaver Snatcher or something. <laughs> mm. Well, it's a bit of a tautology. I wonder why they felt the need, right? Because ballerinas are dancers already, right? They should want to specify which what they danced. 
<laughs> well, I, well, my point is that right ballerinas are a subset of dancers, so it kind of is is a little unnecessarily, you know, redundant. It's like, the meaning. It's like yeah, turtles that's... and tortoises. Yep. Rectangles and squares. <laughs> it could be a modern dancer. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the rest of the night goes uneventfully. Or is there anything else we want to do with these uh, these goat men or uh, anything else? Do we want to call attention and burn them or just throw them down at the bottom of the... Yeah, probably just drag the bodies to the bottom of the cliff or something and leave them there. Yeah, I mean, animals are going to go after them anyway. Probably, you know. It would behoove us to do that. We, we probably should horribly mutilate them in an effort to ensure they don't come after us. I like you. I think they're already dead. <laughs> <laughs> or just for fun. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Julian's having connection problems. No, I'm just, kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just kidding. All right. Sounds good. So well done. You guys survived a day in. I know. Let us bend. Back to the map. It looked tenuous. A second. Alrighty. Where are we? Here we are. Alright, here we are. Back at the map, y'all. Arlen, where are we headed? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Man, hmm? I feel like the fellowship is about ready to take off and head to Rivendell with this music. What the hell is going on in the background here? <laughs> yeah. So Arlen, do you want to? Where do you want to go? Yeah. yeah. So let us. Uh, I think we want to go kind of um, southeast, right? Because we know that there's something there, but we don't know what it is. So we might want to. Maybe wait. Azarina has heard what's there. Azarina, do you know what's there? That might be What's my brain is failing me. <clears throat> oh, Are we talking about I... south of us right now? Yeah, yeah, south of us right now. Oh, yeah. yeah. Deline was there with Baggio and other people. Yeah, mm. and, and, and there was Azarus was there. I can sense it. There's some Selvins and uh, those freaks, a bunch of them. They had a lightning bolt and uh, a lot of pit traps. And, and that was the one where we had the the thick-skinned uh, types that were on the overhang, right? Uh, I think so. Yeah. And then there was eventually a cave that one of them ran back in, but it was pretty rough. I want to say I want to say if that's the uh, if that's the village forgotten to time, then it uh, turned to dust when we left. Well, this one, didn't they have some old some old flags and heraldry or something having to do with that that one guy's sword? I do not remember. Yeah, so. okay. Well, I just, it wasn't, wasn't the friendliest place. Okay, sounds like <laughs> there was a fair bit of chaos and, and, and death there, so maybe let's skirt around the edge of that place and head into the unknown territories to our yeah. southeast. All right. I'm sure Hobbs respond them. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. So you guys start going into the hills. Is that one? Into the jungle hills of Kalmata. Mm -hmm. That reminds me of the time. Sorry. A light drizzle comes up off the coast, the smell of brine heavy in the air. Somewhere distant in the jungle, a shriek rains out and massive birds of paradise fly into the sky above, all mostly hidden by the greenish hue of the jungle canopy above. All right, one more hex. All right, one more hex. Um, Three movements. Yes. It looks like uh, the... Elevation heads to the southwest towards the tip of that mountain that you can just see there a few miles mm -hmm. away. Um, it stays 
to the south, but then it goes back down uh, into some sort of valley to the east, southeast and east. Well, we wanted to explore along the sort of hill country, right? So let's go directly south. Because we can move into the valley and, and on our way back, right? And move a little faster, hopefully, while we're not on as rough ground. I should ask now, how long are y'all playing? 3 a.m. Yeah, me too. 3 a.m. Holy shit. Duck is. I'm good until uh, I'm good until about seven your time, because that's when I have to go to work. <laughs> so normally it's a three hour session, which would I would say uh, 11 p.m. Hobbs standard time. Uh, but we did get started a little late, so I don't mind if we go. We, we can turn around later, soon, Hobbs. It's but okay. I'm just saying. Uh, no, I know how it is. Old men need their sleep and all that. Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. So it's about lunchtime. You guys going to break for lunch? Sounds good. Yeah. Have some rations. So you started to climb up. The elevation continues to uh, get quite a bit steeper to the south. So it's going to take a little longer to pick your way along the south and southwest. It's more. It's still hills to the southeast. Okay. So, yeah, let's go southeast one more after lunch. All right. I would like everyone to make a dex check, including the NPCs. Where's my dex? Success. So go ahead and you can just roll a d20. Uh, let's roll. If we don't know what the dexes are for our NPCs, we can uh, roll. We can roll them with 3d6. Oh my god! Mm. Someone, some people have some good dexes. Very nimble hireling. Oh, shit. shit. Look at that. Wow. And so this will immediately affect their ACs. So, um, Dolgaz, what's Dolgaz's dex? 13. He failed. <laughs> he failed with a 13 dex. So, his AC will go down one, though, right? Sure. As you wish. All right, nice Dolgaz. Uh, Gurn has like... a 17 dex. Ullen has a 13 as well. Sorry, I'm going by the dex 13 plus one AC. So we'll go ahead and make him an AC six. Uh, sorry, who? Ullen. Uh, are we rolling under or, or? No, you rolled the 3d6 to figure out what his dex is. So a 13 yeah. gives him a better dex and a better AC. So now you roll a d20 to see if it's 13 or under. I um, rolled a 10 for him. Yep, so above. he succeeded. Uh, are we at? An eight. Missed. All right. Gurn, what's his de dex? His dex is 17, and I rolled a 15. So he succeeded, yeah. and that means his AC will be go down to a two, correct? I know, it's crazy, yeah. AC two. Uh, Darmir's? Darmir's dex is 17, and he rolled a 17. So his AC goes down to a five? Yep. All right, so he... Uh, because we do the prices wrong, bitch. <laughs> tests. So he was, uh, he did a perfect critical on that success. So who all failed? Uh, Nor failed. 
Deline and Dolga has failed. Is that it? And Adon failed. Yeah, Mungo got a, I got a one, and I need right. to have a nine dex. <laughs> All right, nice. So what what I want to do then? I want to give you a bonus for that failure or that that uh, critical success. So roll a d4. Uh, Arlen. A one. A one. So uh, did Dolgaz succeed or fail? Failed. All right. So Dolgaz is saved by um, uh, Darmir. Basically what happens is you guys are traveling along these hills. Uh, a landslide comes down and the people who failed are caught in the landslide. Uh, so all of those guys roll a D4. And they're going to take that in damage, uh, but not Dolgaz, just the other three. Hopefully, Adam, this doesn't kill you. Nice. Nope. All right, yeah, so and it takes you guys uh, the rest of the day to pick yourselves uh, up and find your uh, any lost belongings. Has anyone seen my earring? In the land of the tall trees, Nick is here to visit us. We just had a landslide, but nobody died. I think Adam was really the only one who was probably, possibly going to die. But, uh, yeah, what's the deal now? What do you guys want to do? Uh, so, we can't go any further today. Correct. Um, so it, takes you guys, it takes you guys like a few hours to uh, yeah. get back together yeah, and all that. So we will do our best to find a place that is not as landslidey and susceptible to things like that to camp. And then I think tomorrow we'll just head down into the valley and kind of make our way along like this and head back towards the ships or the, the boat. So two days out, two days back. That's a little yeah, less than we need... planned on, but you know, we, yeah. we explored some more of Kalmata, so. So does anyone need healing before we wake up in the morning and I'm only down the one and I've got nine of well if we're if we're gonna bunk down then we might as well use the spell so I can I can do a cure light on uh, on one person yeah I have one too. sorry I'm down I'm only down one but it's one of four so I wouldn't mind but if somebody's hurt worse obviously yeah, I think uh, Deline is still messed up, right? Pretty messed up, yep. It was uh, down eight, over half. Yeah, so Deline will, will cure Deline. Seven this time. <laughs> hmm. I was, I, I, and this time I'd probably dunk, dump a whole beer on her. <laughs> <laughs> the foam is in my eyes, the foam. Yeah. Amazing. The That's foam. a shotgun if I ever heard it. Yeah. <laughs> And then if, um, if Taylor's cleric also has a healing, so maybe. I think most everybody's down one, it's right? Like one point, right? Yeah. And do we do we recover one in the wild, or do we wait, or do we not do that until we get back to Sindanor? Uh, yeah. I I think I usually do a D3 if you're in Sindanor, but if it's Sindanor, mm -hmm. if you're in a town or something like that with a good campsite, or if you're resting without doing anything else, otherwise it's just one. But hold okay. on. Hold on to one more day. I'm about mm -hmm. to sing a song, and I'll do you wrong. Oh my god, oh my god. Well then hold on to it, Taylor, for, for a fight. <laughs> hold on to one more song. Too late, you used it before you went to bed. No, that's fine, but Taylor, Taylor hasn't used his, so, oh, okay. or his nice. cleric. Yeah. But well, it's probably better to get Deline up, you know. Yeah, I can take the front line. He's messed up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there is another encounter. So sad. A giant. What, do we have something we're looking for? Spit it out. I hope it's a 50-foot alligator. <laughs> I hope it's a two-headed. How head. about a, a giant toad? A giant toad, mm. nice. A I giant actually made a roll. Toad. 
I made a roll. It's not any of those things, but I, I do have those tokens of moving faster, maybe. Okay. Um, Let me see here. I'll do this while we're waiting. Oh, it's nighttime, so uh, who's up? Who's IB? Roll a D4. What's IB? Aaron, I think you are. Roll a D4. What does IB stand for again? Uh, Irritable I bowel. Well, but what, yeah. Initiative you person. You shit in my pants today. Holy crap. But yeah, I'm the IB. So what do I do? Roll a D4. And then shit my pants. Got it. One. One. All right, so now we're One in nine. Mungo. <laughs> Nor and Mungo are on watch. All right. And it's just early. You guys, are, it's still light out uh, when this occurs. All right. God damn it, turn out the lights. I'm tired. So there's your camp. It's a hilly going up to the southwest, southeast area there. As you can see, go ahead and put your player, your characters wherever they would be. Is that a giant curvy megafauna turd? Where? <laughs> <laughs> Those ridges. <laughs> uh, maybe. Maybe that's what's created these hills. Mega megafauna. <laughs> exactly. I like some serious... Yeah. I don't know. I don't want to know what made the mountains. I'm on Spore the Trail. Goes, the elevation is up this way? Yes. In the Spore Hills, no one. Oh, I'm slow. So slow. Irritable power. So slow. Um, one of you two roll a, oh no, Aaron, I know one of you two being Mungo or, um, no, or roll a D six. Got it, Arlen? Yeah, I can do it. A right, six. A six. So as you guys are making camp and shifting around and brushing yourselves off, you're starting to get the fire and preparing for night. Working. Oh, I know why. <laughs> Wrong. Flipping that. Something is coming down the hill. Possibly interested in y'all. Oh, geez. Oh, boy. Oh, no. All right. You didn't say there were two of them. Oh, I didn't have to. I showed you. They sure look limber. They look friendly. I'll bet they're here to diplomacy. They're yep. they're kind of sh they're kind of like slowly going down the hill, looking in your direction. It seems like it's kind of hard to find their beady eyes over those massive tooth-filled maws above their four arms. And occasionally they pause and rawr, let out low, curious growls and sounds as they're picking their way down the hill towards you. How, uh, how big are these guys, Jason? Uh, they look to be about um, nine-ish feet tall, eight to ten feet tall. Hmm. Sidewinder, thanks for being here, buddy. Carl is playing Mungo. Did you see that, Carl? One of the what? chatters said that... Uh, Mungo is a celebrity, a Kalmata celebrity sighting. Oh no. Yeah, I wonder. Well, I guess we're going to raise the alarm. Yep. Start it's shaking people good. awake. Well, no yeah. one's. A, yeah, I mean, they're just starting to go to sleep. It was just as it came. Well, Mungo raised the alarm. Okay, so, yeah. Julian's like, I don't. I'm not here for four armed ogres. I'm outie. 
What are you guys gonna do, Arlen? Yeah, I. I don't think the dwarves are gonna be able to run. Is the thing right? These things, I suspect, are going to move faster than us. I mean, we could move and hide, like, over here. Yeah. Um, so it's pretty obvious you believe they've seen you, because they do seem yeah. to be picking their way down the hill towards you. I'm not going to go in a poop cave. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, if we're just... Hey, if we just get a free shot, I'm going to cast sleep on one of them. Yeah, I'm going to yeah, I'm gonna try to okay, blind Yeah, one. so let's... Let's uh, form up a, a sort of defensive posture, and so um, we should roll a bunch initiative of spears. first. Then. Okay. Yep. Is that me again? Man, I'm kind of pissed. I'm I don't have declaring. A, I'm casting I have a, a spell. Reference book. I have this reference book that supposedly has all these spells in it. I, don't really see it. I like uh, I like Arlen's initiative roll there. Yeah, I do like Arlen's initiative roll. That what? was his. That was a surprise roll, actually. Oh, yeah. Uh, is he surprised that he won initiative? <laughs> <laughs> he was surprised that Taylor's being a bunghole, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he shouldn't have been. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So, yeah, that is you, sir. Let's definitely form up, you know, high AC in front and your support in the back. All right. So, we're rolling initiative first. So, who's that? That's you, Aaron. I mean, boom. Five in the face. Yes. Only a dose. All right, so now it is time for movement. Mungo, you're up on a hill kind of compared to the other guys, right? Yeah. You're a little yeah. farther up the hill. I guess you can only move. In plate, you can only move 20, right? Um, yeah. Yes. Do you guys have treasure? Not that Base much. movement is 20 feet with treasure, okay. 10 feet. Yeah, I don't think you have enough treasure to worry about, so I'll give you 20. Mm -hmm. All right, so I moved Mungo, uh, or I moved Gurn, so um, Mungo's going to stay put. Yeah, this is like up on this is like a ridge here, right? So it's like a ridge. Mm-hmm. Yep. The highest being right where Deline is. Lower towards where Mungo is, where it reaches, you know, you can easily make a path. You can go up and down it. It's just like I've been if yeah. you don't want to move any farther, you can just go straight down it yeah, without a dex check. But if you want to actually move over it, then you'll have to you have make to a go dex like check. This. All right. Anybody else moving? And Nor and Darmir are moving up. So I probably have 50 pictures. And I bet you I have a picture of these dudes somewhere. But yeah. I don't ever name them. What they're supposed to be named because like i name them bony creature or something like that or often what the fuck but <laughs> <laughs> ugly bastard yeah but just a bunch of weird <laughs> names yeah what is this birdman exclamation point yeah tall creature yeah. tall creature that's a good one yeah yeah so they're pretty hard to find afterwards uh, bad dudes, I see. <laughs> bad dudes underscore new. <laughs> Big red. <laughs> Enemy mine. Hard, Ooh, hard folk. folk. Hard Auto, folk. Auto TPK. <laughs> All right. So, uh, is everyone done moving? Yep. Is anyone yep. missiling yep. towards these creatures? Not this round. I have a sling technically, but I did not. Uh, I did not say I took it out. So yeah. you can Next pull round. it out. You can pull it. I out. would like to pull out my sling. As long as that's all you're pulling out, sir. Go ahead and use it if yep. you'd like. That's all I have. I'm. Oh, bad. While we're <laughs> while we're talking about uh, 
handout names. I like Dose Eyes, who has Ocho Eyes. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice. So you can go ahead and use a missile if anyone wants to. None here. Go for it. You didn't get your dagger back, or is it too uh, you're out of range? <laughs> Way out of range. Way yes. out of range, sir. Way out of range. Ray out of range. Oh, this music is getting crazy. All right, I'm magic. Tar- yeah, I'm targeting right. <laughs> Anybody hit? Did you did you use your slang, Taylor? Uh, I did oh, not. I had to, I had to pull it out of my pack. You, you can go ahead and go. I don't care. Oh, okay, cool. What? That's because uh, that guy got. I big. thought there was another one. It's not. <laughs> I, I'm just showing the better picture for those people at home. Okay. Oh. Oh, yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> all right. The sling yeah. misses. It bats it out of the air with one of its claw fangs. fist with its fangs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I got one. <laughs> I got, uh, well, yep. yeah, I got one. I'm going to go with the sleep. Yep. I'm going to, well, you want, whoever goes first, what do you want to do? You can go ahead and you want to go and roll your hit dice. Uh, for if you're targeting, I'm assuming these guys are going to be four hit dice or more. So the, the biggest guy can get us four plus one hit dice. Is it? Yeah, looking at the SRD. Looking at the yeah. rules, the thing. The... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just looked it up. There, there are rules, Jason. The rules are more of a guideline. <laughs> yeah, well, that's. Any guideline? Yeah. Rulings, not rules. <laughs> yes, and. Go ahead, roll your dice. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're saying you don't have to. That's what you're saying? Because if you target a, a single creature, you can get four plus one, right? Right. That's what you're trying to tell me. I'm with you now. Sorry. I'm all with right, you now. Right. Dice some cubes. I'm, I'm texting you to f- wake the fuck up right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah. So this guy, as he's kind of going forward, sort of stumbles forward and falls asleep. Ooh. I'll take it. Very nice. It's a good time for me to cast shield, and I do. All right. Okay. <laughs> What's that look like when Deline casts shield? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? I would. <laughs> you should and make Mark? her. Uh, you should make her Tressold locks uh, wave in the breeze. I hear that's popular. Interesting. Yeah. Right, and Mon- Go ahead, Mungo. Mungo is going to cast light at this thing's face, hopefully to blind it. Go ahead. Oh, I, well, does, I need to roll a save, save throw, throw, don't I? Yeah. Right. Yep. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> How does this game work? Boom! Uh, Shakalaka. What's this? Right. Uh, what's the light that Mungo casts look like? Um, <laughs> it's probably like beer foam. He like spits out up in the air, and the foam tries to cloud in the creature's eyes. But all right, yeah, it just splashes it. around me, yeah. licks it up. Holy golden foam. Una- unaffected. Damn it. Okay. All right. That's it. Obviously, there's no melee attacks. So that one's asleep. That's cool. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I guess they're, they're moving. Yeah, you come get some. Don't even take you on. Look over that giant turd. Oh, you stepped in it. <laughs> Leaps down. He's massive. Strikes at Mungo. Jesus. A flurry of blows, which Mungo easily ignores. Wow, that's awful rolls. Okay. Slat his feet. <laughs> Bring up dust and foliage. I love a pitch. He's a yucky. Okay. 
You got another one? <laughs> Manga's gonna call. You got another one of those fancy sleepy things? All right. Uh, no. Initiative. Magic. Hey, uh, Hobbs, can I see that tall dude from where I am on the other side of the poop? Yeah, because, I mean, it, the hill obviously isn't like... Oh. It's slides. You can see him. He's, like, huge. He's, Wait. like, ten feet tall, so... I declare magic. Beat a five. Oh, that's me, because I'm awesome at this. Oh, oh nice! Hey. Anybody moving? Yep. Um, uh, yeah. Sure, I'm just gonna... Go ahead. Whoever's Who moving, move. Is... Hobbs, how does running work in this game? So running is three times your move, but uh, you, I don't. You don't really. I think I even allow charging. Would, why don't you tell me what you're trying to do? Well, I'm trying to just get up close to this guy quicker than my little dwarf legs would get me there normally. Yeah, so it's three times your normal movement, but you'll have minuses to your AC. Okay, that's fine. Through combat. Yeah. So, so do, you're wearing do, metal armor. Do. do. 90 feet. Yeah, I'm wearing chain. No, wait, sorry. 60 feet. 60 feet. All right, then I can get up to here just fine. Okay. And Darmir is just going to move normal because he's not quite as gung-ho about charging into combat. How did Ullen, Ullen climbed up the cliff? So he's kind of climbing up a wall there. See that, that raised area? So he probably couldn't get that far. Unless, if you want him to, you have to make a successful dex check, and then he could still move normally. Uh, yeah, he's got a dex of 13. Let's do it. Let's do it. Like a really bad failure nice. and something bad would happen. Yes. Yeah, he scurries up there like a young man, like a young 50-year-old yeah. GM Hobbs. <laughs> he, he's footed as a goat. Oh, boy. What happened? You know, weird goats do exist in this setting. They do, yeah. Watch out. What were we just listening to? Does anybody know? I think it was Slayer. Slayer? You know you can set them to automatically be looped, keep, right? Keep looping, right? Yeah, yeah I, I, thought to... I thought it was. I thought it was. Okay. Are we, are we moved? Yep. Everyone's is moving. Have they moved? All right. Now, um, missiles. Magic. Deline. Deline will cast light into the eyes of this beast, which requires you to make a saving throw, sir. Thank you for specifying. And it, and it just oh, looks a like a, a little tiny candle that just suddenly just zooms right in by its nose and all right, so there's a small, tiny candle of incredible luminescence all around his eyes. Okay. <laughs> I am blinded. I'm I know blinded. he doesn't have cucumbers. I'm blinded by the light. I think this is what I do. I'm so sleepy eyed. All right. Uh, melee. Oh, boy. Adam, were you going to do anything? He, yeah, he didn't no. specify he was going to cast. So you guys get a plus two yeah. when attacking this guy. But but uh, Hobbsy, Adam is going to carefully look around in all directions and make sure nobody's creeping on us from behind or whatever. Mm, that sounds sneaky. Roll a d6. All right. All right. He doesn't notice anyone, but he's certain that the wilds, wildness in the wilds of... Kalmata certainly could be sneaking about. All right, All right. Mungo. Mungo AC4. Oh, that is a hit. Nice. And then Gurn will attack. Well. Ooh. How many did you do? Gurn. I did six. Gurn gets a 14. So I guess that's AC. I don't know how good he it's is. It's a hit. Okay. The Gurn does four points of damage. All right. You guys can tell as you're sticking into the, his hide is very thick. <laughs> And 
AC oh. one for three for me. Please immune to our jabs, our verbal jabs. Thick skin. No, that he's not immune to. You do see a tear come out of his blinded eye. Yeah, it was hurtful. I meant it to be. You hit me um, so Olin, much. Owen uh, gets a 16 with the spear. That's a hit. And oh, whole whopping. Tis me a scratch. But you guys are like stabbing him with spears and bashing him with war hammers. And ah, he's just like going crazy. All right, Nick. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you, buddy, Nick. Good, good to see you, buddy, Nick. Julian left again. Huh? What? Just kidding. Arlen was just resetting good. his camera. All yeah, right, so my, my goddamn Discord keeps just dropping all the audio with my, no sign at all. My goddamn Discord. Ridiculous. Goddamn yeah. Discord. Exactly. Azarina uh, is very close to Arizona. That's weird. I've been thinking about that this uh, most of the session, actually. <laughs> 